Hi guys, good morning. I think Jax is happy that I am home. You're a good boy, you snuggle on my baby. You're such a good boy. Anyway, first day home, going well so far. Of course, in pain, but it's okay. Hopefully I get in the shower in a little bit. That would be really nice. But first, some nebulizers. And hopefully a chest PT. I haven't done one in over a week. So we're going to try doing some manual and see how that goes. Hi, everyone. So as my first day and night at home, well, second night at home, but first day at home comes to an end, I just want to say how happy I am to be home how blessed I feel. Um, some things that I noticed so far already with the new kidney is I don't have swelling in my feet, legs, and ankles. So that's much more comfortable to walk around with. I can even bend if I had to. Just being a little bit more careful with the incision when it comes to twisting and bending. But prior to that, if I would just pick something up off the floor around 10, 11 o'clock and be on my feet for the day, I wouldn't really be able to bend too well without being in a lot of pain or I'd have to sit on the floor to do something because <laughs> bending was not an option and then getting up I kind of need some help so that's one thing the second thing is I no longer have that metallic -y ammonia taste in my mouth as they call it ammonia mouth when you're in kidney failure you get this nasty taste in your mouth and it's like 24 7 you know, all the time, even if you obviously brush your teeth, use mouthwash all the time, gum, uh, mints and everything, it just doesn't help because your body's trying to excrete toxins somehow. So it tries to take them out of your mouth. That's another thing. Um, my blood pressures are much more stable now. Um, my blood sugar, we have to work on a bit, but we're doing our best. And um, it's a little more predictable when giving insulin. Like, so in kidney failure, when you give insulin, the insulin lasts longer. So it's active for longer than it would be in a regular person. So it's a little more predictable now. We know, like, okay, it's active for three hours and it's out of my system. Whereas with kidney failure, it would last three and a half to four hours. So that wasn't too um, easy to navigate all the time. We would have a lot of dropping and needing less insulin and just hard to balance. So that's the improvements I see so far. Of course, my blood work has tons of improvements. Thank you to Liz giving me this amazing gift. My creatinine is in a normal level. And if you guys don't know, creatinine just pretty much shows um, how your kidney is functioning. And, um, you know, based on the number, how it trends up or it trends down, you can kind of get an idea as to how the kidney is working. And then we also have the GFR, which is pretty much how they measure your function it's um how many teaspoons per hour that you filter and the last number that i swore i was at a gfr of 84 which is phenomenal because 60 and up is normal and before transplant i was at an 11 and pretty much heading towards a 10 probably within that same week so filtering 10 teaspoons an hour 11 teaspoons opposed to 80 something is just a huge, um, a huge difference. Right now, I still feel the side effects from the surgery, pain, um, still having some anemia issues, and just just everything overall. I don't feel great, but from a kidney standpoint, I feel well. And um, I think, God willing, things will get better. It just takes time. I've been told to adjust to all this, so little by little, we'll get there one day at a time. Um, we continue to ask you guys for prayers that all can go well. Tomorrow's my first appointment in person to do some blood work, possibly adjust some anti-rejection medications, and just go over a few things with the kidney doctor. The transplant doctor, I should say. So, anyway, we're going to head to bed. we got to be up bright and early. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll keep you guys posted as this journey continues, of course, as we always did with CF. And we still do it CF and, um, and diabetes and all that. Just everything medical. And then you guys know we take you guys just along on life. Just it's our channel's really about everything. But we started it for cystic fibrosis awareness. And it just turned into people enjoying us just living. And so we're happy to share that with you guys. So thank you for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Have a great night. And Jackson made himself comfy on me for the night. 
you guys could see he's laying on my arm and he missed me a lot, right Jax? Hey good boy, say good night. Hey guys, good morning. We're on our way to our first transplant appointment. Outpatient, you know, since the transplant. Yeah, first post transplant doctor's appointment. So it's pretty cold today. It's 28 degrees. We're dressed warm and uh, yeah, hopefully I don't get too tired making it to the building from Barkin and up <coughs> into the actual office. But just gonna go slow and hopefully you don't freeze our butts off. Hey guys, we are here. We uh, did some vitals, blood work, and now just waiting to see the doctor. The penny apple in the hallway to the children's hospital, which is where we parked because it's much closer. Hey guys, so Jill just had her first post-transplant appointment. Everything went really good. She's just really, really winded and tired. And um, we're heading home now and yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Guys, I am so excited. I feel a little better sitting in the car. Walking was a bit tough because it was like really far to walk the whole hospital to get back to the car. But we just stopped at Philly Pretzels. The one by our house, well, not that it's near our house, it's a half hour away from where we live um, in our borough, is always closed. So we came to a different part of Jersey, New Jersey on our way back, and I put in a fresh order, that way nothing is sitting and there's no chance of any type of like bacteria or anything growing. I don't even know if that's possible on pretzels, but I'm sure it could be. And so they're coming right out of the oven now and uh, we're gonna enjoy them kind of as like a lunch. I'm really excited. I haven't been this excited over food in <laughs> probably a couple of weeks. So this is really Guys. great. Hold on, my wire's wrapped. Philly Pretzel Factory. And um, this is on Broadway in Bayonne, New Jersey. It's kind of like a big shopping area over here. They have tons of stores, all of Broadway, a lot of food places, and just, yeah, it's really cute over here. We always enjoyed coming, and uh, it's been a pretty long time. Here's the pretzels, guys. Mmm, so hot, right out the man. oven. And the owner was so nice. Got a whole bag. Guys, Hi. Jill's appetite is a lot better today. She requested a grilled cheese with ham. Trying to get my 10 pounds back that I lost. There you go. And I'm making a turkey sandwich. Mm. And I'm actually going to heat mine oh. up too. Because she made yeah. hers look really good. So, Well, mine has to be heated because I yeah. can't eat anything. She can't eat any cold cuts. So yeah. I had to make it hot cuts. To try and kill in case there's any bacteria or whatever. But um, he's having a hot cut too. So Yeah, I'm having a hot cut. Might as well join, right? Bon appetito. Right? So Rosario's sandwich got like a bit burnt. It's good though. It's and good. so Jackson was afraid of the fan over the um, stove. Go ahead, have your treats now. He left this treat, you guys could see, and he's only coming in now because the noise is over. You okay, Jack? It's okay. All right, you had your treats. Yeah. And guys, look at what I look like. I decided to come for a walk, <laughs> but it's like 15 degrees out, literally, and it's freezing. I look like a crazy lady. But Jax loves the cold, so it's hysterical. <laughs> I look like I'm, in, I'm from another planet. Hey guys, the boys are here. <laughs> what are you crying about? What does he see? I don't know. No, there's nothing over there for you. What's wrong with our dog? I don't know. He sees something. There's no bunnies. I don't see any bunnies or anything. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Jax, you happy now, Mama? Guys, I used the vacuum before for like one second and we put his food down over an hour ago and poor Jax was petrified and didn't eat. So now we brought him his food in here and he's eating. My poor baby, when I came in, he looked so scared and he was sitting in the corner of the couch. Guys, check this out. Chef Rosario in the house tonight. He's been the chef lately since I haven't felt too great, but some nice peas rice and pork chop everything made hot and fresh he's just getting his pork chop and we're gonna eat bon appetito i don't know if i explained to you guys about the food thing yet with um transplant but i will shortly hey guys. happy saturday evening i didn't vlog at all today um i don't know if i really feel better kidney wise i feel better but I'm just tired and uh in pain so of course taking some pain meds but all in all we're doing pretty well 
But honey here made me some pasta for dinner. So I'm gonna enjoy that. It's an eggplant sauce and we have some breadsticks. Thank you, Thank you for dinner, my love. Mm -hmm. He put cheese on his, I got mine plain. Love my cheese. And little man got to have some plain pasta too. So he's yeah, happy. Good morning. Chef Rosario cooked me some scrambled eggs, which I started eating and some nice cooked ham. We're just enjoying breakfast. I haven't had a regular breakfast in probably over a year because I always have an intro and I'm never hungry. So this is exciting. Come on, pee pee. Make pee pee. Hi guys. It is Sunday night. Um, we've just been relaxing today. I think I told you guys that I really can't go anywhere um, for the first two months because my white blood cells are extremely low. And so I really wouldn't be able to fight anything off, God forbid I pick something up, especially with this being um, COVID, with COVID going around. So we're just in. But we are getting hit now with a huge snowstorm. They're saying about, I think, 12 to 18 inches or something like that. And so Rosario's outside shoveling. We have about three to four inches already now. And it started um, this afternoon. And so, yeah, we're just trying to do a little at a time. Well, not me this time, Rosario. He's trying to do a little at a time so that way we could keep up with the, um, the snowfall and everything. Jackson here is crying for his daddy because he's outside and Jackson can't see him. So he gets very um, upset. And um, so, yeah, we're supposed to go for blood work tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. But they're saying to stay off the roads. Um, so because I was having some issues the other day, I went for blood work again on Friday. And originally it was just supposed to be on Thursday. So I'm thinking if we aren't able to get there tomorrow, that we would just do... Um, maybe Tuesday because from Thursday to Monday was um four days so if we do Friday maybe to Tuesday that's still four days so hopefully they'd be okay with that and um, I'll just call tomorrow morning and check with them so I think it may be a little tough to get there with this weather even though we have four-wheel drive and everything it's just um gonna be a little rough especially if the roads aren't safe earlier Rosario went to the grocery store to get some things and um he got into a little fender bender he said he was stopped, but um, he was rolling on the ice and couldn't stop the car. And so he decided to turn to the right to try and not hit the person in front of him. And he wound up wrecking our wheel. He popped the tire and the rim got all messed up. And then the left part of our front of the car hit the guy's back part on his right side. So, yeah, we have some things that have to get fixed on our car. Um, luckily, we still have Rosario's car to use, and then my mother offered for us to borrow hers, like for tomorrow, because she'll be off of work, and um, she has four-wheel drive, she has a truck, so it would be better to take that than the car. So we'll just see how everything goes and see if we do go tomorrow, but the way it's looking right now, they're calling for a state of emergency in both New York and New Jersey, and we usually drive through Jersey to get there, and so, yeah. It looks like it's probably not going to happen, but um, we're just going to relax and lay low. I'm still having pain, and my blood pressure has been a little bit low today. Not as low as the other days, but still on the low end, and so it's just been tiring for me. But we're doing our best over here, and um, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow, God willing. Um, we'll show you guys some snow. Jackson was out in a little bit of the snow earlier, so after this, I'll include that clip. And... Um, and I'll show you guys how he cries for his daddy when he's outside. He hates when one of us is outside and we're not all either outside together or inside together. And so he gets a little crazy. But you guys can probably hear him whining in the background anyway. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Attention New Yorkers. Keep washing your hands with soap and water. Or use hand sanitizer. Keep staying home if you're sick. Except to receive medical care.